Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends, my name is Vincenzo and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. Well, lately, um, I've been exploring uh, pocket pens. It all, I mean, I've had a few in my collection uh, uh, for some time now, which I really essentially never used. But with the Jinao 82, uh, which, by the way, is just a beautiful writer, um, I started to find some use for them, you know, combined with a pocket journal that I carry around with me basically very often to just to jot down notes, ideas. Uh, and I started using these pocket pens. And then, you know, the fascination for a smaller sized pen that gives you a good writing experience started. And I followed up by getting a, um, a additional um, pocket pens, which I will be reviewing in the in the coming coming days, weeks, depending on how quickly they they are mailed to me. And one of the one of those was this uh, Opus 88 mini pocket pen, um, which I found on. Uh, this is what just a the motif is an endless uh, pens exclusive. I don't think the motif is 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 all that important because there are various Opus 88 mini pens with different motifs and etc. Different colors. Uh, it's the pen that interests me, and at first sight. When I saw this pen, I, I, I quickly came to the conclusion that it's probably my favorite. But, hmm, there's some inner workings of this pen that needs to be discussed and looked at more carefully. So please stay tuned for my review. And um, I'll try to give you as many answers as possible on this, what should be a beautiful pen. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back with the pen. Just to show you the boxing, um, or the box that it came in, it's it's an endless pens um, motif um, uh, exclusive, if you will. But the pen itself, the Opus 88, the mini pen, is of course, um, it comes in different styles, different colors. Uh, and the objective here is not to necessarily convince you to to like this particular exclusive model but but more to look at the 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 pocket pen itself so it does come in with this this uh, cardboard sleeve and then you have the classic opus 88 box with a magnetic uh, closer um, when you open it up you have the um, the opus 88 booklet with various instructions showing you how to fill the pen etc because it is a um, it is a eyedropper filler mechanism, just like the Opus 88, the big version, if you will. Um, and the pen is there, along with a little syringe bulb that you could press and uh, and and ink up the ink and uh, deposit it into uh, the uh, the pen itself. So that's the the box it comes in, and here is the pen. So I I must tell you. Um, I, I, I've put on my on my opening thumbnail that this to me is the best or at least it's my favorite pocket pen. Um, I know I've ordered one from Gravitas and I'm looking forward to receiving that one and that one may very well become, based on other reviews I've seen, become my favorite pocket pen. But for the time being, this is it. Uh, this Opus 88, I love Opus 88. I've got Opus, I think I've got six or seven of them. They, it's just a very functional, well-priced, lots of ink, good size pens. Uh, and I figure I, I would try this pocket pen and I'm not at all disappointed. So here's the outside of the pen. Now, you know, setting aside the motif, but it, it's an interesting, fun motif, if you will. Uh, kitties and there's a coffee uh, mug there inscribed on the transparent barrel but if you look at the pen itself it's a cigar shaped uh, pen with uh, two black uh, plastic or resin uh, finials rounded um, the the nib the clip I should say is a 
stiff but functional, I would say. Nice. It's, it's kind of big for the size of the pen, but it, 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 it kind of fits in. It fights in, fits in just because of the girthy nature of this um, pocket pen. Um, inscribed on the band um, is Opus 88, as you could see there. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else on the other side. No, there is not. So that's the band. And there you have it. Okay. Um, this is the piston that that maneuvers the filling mechanism. We'll look, take a look at that in a second. In terms of we get into the pen, that's one turn. One and a half turns. Two turns. And we're getting to three, so it's three turns. I personally don't mind that, um, but I know some people like to have some quick opening mechanisms and three may be a little bit too much. Let's start with that nib. There's that Opus 88. It's a Yowo nib. This one is extra fine. And I gotta tell you, some people will be saying extra fine? Vincenzo, what are you doing? I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I needed, I was ordering the 1.4 stub, there's no way that I would have gotten an extra fine nib, I don't even think I have one, or more than a dozen in my collection, uh, so that was a huge mistake, but you know what folks, I have plenty 1.4 stub nibs um, from Edison, and uh, I think that unless this nib surprises me, I'm going to be, the first thing I will be doing is replacing it. I may even replace it for the uh, for the uh, writing sample. We shall see. Okay, so that's the that's the the nib. Um, the filler mechanism, as you can see, is in there. Uh, very very nice. It, it it you know it it's the same as the the father Opus eighty eight. I I will say or the mother the the big the big version. Uh, what I like about it is that when first of all it posts. It posts with a little click. You can see that. Um, from what I understand, the original version of this thing uh, wasn't postable or had difficulty posting. So this is a new design. It kind of spins. Uh, and I know this actually was a voluntary design that it spin this way. Frankly, I think it's distracting. I don't know why they made it so that it's spinnable. Having said that, you know, once it sits in your hands, um, it's okay. It doesn't um, it doesn't interfere um, in the um, in the overall writing experience. Uh, I do have a tendency to hold this pen on the the thicker um, section here, where there's that band which is not ideal just because the the um, uh, grip section is kind of small but you know we're talking about an opus pen and a, a pocket pen so obviously you know there you have you see the it, it kind of spins on you here so I, I I'm really not sure that that spinning uh, mechanism is is of any adds anything to the pen at all in fact but Having said that, it doesn't it doesn't bother me in my writing experience. I hope not. Anyway, uh, we shall see. But there you have it. I think it's a nice postable um, pen, if there is such a word. It's big. It's girthy. Uh, once it's posted, and it's it's a really a good looker, a really nice looker. I gotta tell you. Um, so there you have it. So that's the, the pen on the inside and on the out. Um, what I propose next is that we uh, uh, do a size comparison with some other uh, pocket pens that I have in my collection and uh, proceed with measurements and a writing sample. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the size or pen comparison um, as you could see the the uh, uh, subject pen is is a nice size pen much bigger than my Kaweco brass 
uh, smaller than my Duofold Parker Mini, slightly smaller than my Twisby uh, Pocket Pen or the Mini, uh, definitely smaller than my Jinao uh, 82, and maybe slightly bigger. This is a Monte Grappa, which, by the way, is just an exquisite um, writing pocket pen. Um, the nib is just uh, really, really nice. In fact, the nib in this thing is probably better than a lot of Monte Grappas that I own, which I, I don't like that, uh, unfortunately, the Monte Grappa pens. Uh, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, having said that, it is, uh, it is a, a much girthier pen than, than all the ones that you see here. Um, so there you have it. Here is the posted um, comparison. Uh, as you can see, bigger than my Kawiko, smaller than the Parker, equivalent to the Twisby, equivalent to the Genau 82, and slightly smaller than the Monte Grappa uh, mini pen. So there you have it. By the way, the Monte Grappa, I just wanted to show you, just sharing my passion here. Take a look at that nib. That nib, it is just, I got to tell you, exquisite. Probably, as I mentioned, I think I like that nib better than some of the, uh, you know, full-size pens. It is silver. That's why you can see it, it kind of, with time, kind of uh, faded there, but um, needs some polishing. Uh, but there you have the uh, posted comparison. And that's the unposted, uncapped comparison. You can definitely see that the girthiest, uh, if there is such a word, uh, pen is definitely my Opus uh, 88, and that's why I like it. Uh, it is quite uh, quite lengthy as well. Rivals with um, with both my Parker and my uh, Jinao, which appear to be the the biggest of the lot there. But you can see they're almost equivalent. Um, in fact, I did want to show you this: um, the the um, the pen can actually be used, I would say, um, uh, you know, it can actually be used un unposted, which is nice. Uh, in fact, originally, that's the way I think it was designed until people complained that it wasn't postable and then uh, they created the post. And as we shall see that posting, it's going to be difficult, I think, but let's wait for the writing sample and I'll give you more details then. Uh, we will proceed with the measurement chart and then the writing sample. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back with the, for the writing sample. First of all, the ink that I want to use in this pen is this um, um, Rohr, I can never pronounce it, um, Rohr and Klingner uh, Blue Mare. It's a nice, you know, light blue ink. Um, so that's the ink, and at the same time, I figured I'd, I'd, I'd show you how, for those of you who are not familiar with these um, high dropper filling mechanism, so you basically this screws on and, and seals at the top so that there's no ink flow into your nib unit. So when you want it to flow into your nib unit, you open it up and the flow continues which is good when you travel by the way so it doesn't you know the ink doesn't uh, force itself out and then when you have to fill it you just unscrew it and then gently pull it right to the back so it opens up then you uh, go for your ink uh, use a syringe or these uh, convenient uh, and just fill the pen careful not to fill right to the top because you need to give it some room um, so I think that's going to be just perfect and there you go and screw back on the nib unit I always like to leave a little bit of space I like the idea of the ink going up and down and it gives it uh, so you can see a little more and it doesn't when you uh, screw in the nib unit you're not you're not uh, pushing the ink out okay so we'll close the bottle 
So we will give it a, uh, a little push nice and gently so that we can leave it open. Uh, what I suggest is that we leave it, you, you got to leave it a little bit, you know, face down so that the ink does manage to go into that nib unit. And then we will start our writing sample. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Now, I've been playing around with this pen for the last hour, um, which is most unfortunate it's because it's quickly changing my opinion um, about this pen. Um, I did everything possible. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit all inked up here. I try to clean myself as much as possible to ink that extra fine nib. Okay. Um, I went as far as using um, these gauges here, right? I did 2.5, 3, 4, and 5 to open up the tines. Um, I opened, I fully opened up the the piston here to make sure that all the ink flowed through. I used the water capillary action system where you dip the pen in the water in the hope that it creates a flow. Didn't work. I left it, I left it upside down for more than a half an hour in the hope that it would finally flow, nothing doing. I then said to myself, okay, maybe it's the ink. I didn't know that that roller, roller clinger uh, blue mare has a tendency to be sometimes to be a little dry. Uh, so I said, you know what? I'm going to change up inks. I went with this uh, Majon uh, blue, um, really nice ink I gotta tell you and I've always ex had good experiences with this ink the flow is always very nice it doesn't have any shimmer uh, neither did the blue mare um, so it doesn't have any properties that would clog up the pen I I used that ink I left it for another 15 minutes um, I allowed this capillary system to, to hopefully generate some ink action in that nib nothing doing so i gave up in any event i wasn't going to use that extra fine nib so i've now um i had ordered several 1.4 opus 88 um stubs so i you know changed the nib allowed it two or three minutes to flow and the rest is history so bad experience with that nib, but you know, that's YOWO, extra fine. Is it me? Is it my subjective dislike for fine, finer nibs? Then I noticed that the spinning action here of this postable cap is a real pain in the butt. First of all, it's very loose. As you can see, it moves on you. So when when it's sitting there and you know i'm trying to it turns on me it just complete disaster i mean this was supposed to be a new design allowing this pen to be posted it's postable why make this thing spin it, it just opus it's not working change it again you hear me it's too bad because this pen was supposed to be my uh favorite um, favorite uh, pocket pen and unfortunately it's turned out to be a real disaster having said all of that let's let's proceed to my um, writing sample by the way the journal here is a a6 abonichi and it's found in this um some of you asked me what what is that um this is a what I keep, yeah, Rotter Faden. Um, I think it's a German company. It's it's a nice, sturdy um, cover, and the way it works is it has these clips. You clip in your uh, your A6 journal, and the rest is history. So that's that. 
So let's finally proceed to the writing sample. Okay. Um, so this is the opus. Well, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Opus 88 mini pocket pen. I mean, this thing is real pain. Sorry, I, I just can't write with it. Um, the nib is an Opus 88 1.4 number 5 stub. Really, really nice. The ink is Majon Blue. It's really dark blue because I think they have a lighter one as well. I think there's a name that they give it, but I forget what it is. And in terms of line variation, it's a stub. It's a nice gusher now. Uh, it's uh, very wet, very consistent, smooth. No issues here. Uh, fast writing. Just a hint of feedback. Very, very nice. My rating. Likes. Well, the likes are, it's girth. And I would say generally it's size. That's what I like about this pen. Um, the filling system it does take a little bit of patience for the ink to get through but once it does not a problem it gives you that option of closing up and opening up the valve so when you travel you can put this in your in your uh, you know in your small pocket uh, notebook like this not a problem. So the filling system is definitely um, um, the number five nibs are hit and miss, but I'm okay with them. At least this Opus 88 1.4 is fine. My dislikes that probably make it such that I've lost all enthusiasm about this pen is this. Um, unfortunate design of the post posting of this pen uh, post with a spin it's a complete complete failure in my part opus change it again uh, this is not working for you guys and i gotta tell you when that valve is opened it moves even more. Now, let, let's close the valve. Um, it moves a little bit less, okay? But when the valve is open, because you want the flow there, I mean, this is not bad when it's closed, okay? Uh, but even then, it, it just moves. It's The posting is a complete, complete, complete failure in my part which is unfortunate really unfortunate i was really looking forward to enjoying this pen it's giving me fountain pen uh, frustration as opposed to therapy uh, i dislike it to the point that all these pros go out the window i'll be patient maybe i'll change my mind but hurry up gravitas i'm looking forward to your pocket pen because this one's not working right now i gotta tell you my favorite pocket pen remains this uh, jinhao 82 works just fabulously so there you have it that's my review folks oh vincent i'll sign it stay tuned to, for my next video a little bit disappointed but you know sometimes fountain pen therapy is not guaranteed. <laughs> Take care, folks. Be well.